So this is just going to be a quick video on how to create a Facebook shop. So we will go to the Beagle app and fill in the required information and click submit. And we should get a CSV file that we can download. And so we will send this over to the um, to Facebook catalog. So we're going to add products, use data feeds, upload file manually, upload a file. Um, I'm going to go to, oops, okay, no, Word, don't open. Uh, open downloads and drag my file into place. And so we start the upload and it will just take a moment so the next thing that we'll have to do, well, well, we'll let this upload. And so I'm going to go to my pages. I'm going to cut the video for a second. So what I've done here is go to a page. So you'll have to create a page um, if you haven't made one already. And I clicked over here into the shop tag and it popped up this little window. So we're going to set up a shop. So I'm going to go to Commerce Manager. And so um, there are a bunch of steps here. So I'm going to go in a bank account in a moment here. So sorry, so we'll link a page and I'm going to um, just fill in a name here. Click Next and link the test catalog that we just updated and click Save. And hopefully it doesn't ask me for bank account stuff. Good, okay. So there's a Setup Payouts button that we'll, you'll use to hook up your bank account but you can set preferences. Um, we'll just do standard shipping. Um, zero is fine. So sorry for the cut there. Um, it showed my address when I clicked on this line. So I put three to five and save and it goes to standard shipping. So we click next. We can fill in an email address. So I will fill in my um, email here. So we'll save that. So we'll set up payouts. Um, I'm not going to click into that uh, on the video, but I will um, set that up and we'll come back. Uh, real quick, I'm looking at my page right now. We're welcome to shop. Um, I deleted the feed so that it would show you this page so that you would know what to expect on the shop. But I'm going to re-add and then we'll look at what it looks like then. So after refreshing the page, we have uh, all the products listed here. So all we have to do now is make sure everything is completely set up. Now from here we can do a couple things, but um, it's pretty much set up. So I'm just going to click on Manage Catalog and it will bring us back over to the product listing and we can uh, edit a couple things go to um, you can add products you can add new products go back to the data feeds i usually just put a link up in my uh, top bar here um, and so the last thing is i just want to note um, right you can get your variations if you check this box. So for your um, Facebook shop you want to do this and we're going to skip over none request 25 and I'll use somebody with variations. So we check this box, we hit submit. Um, it ran really quick because this user has changed their shop significantly since I last looked at it. But we're going to download and we can see um, some of these 
have multiple multiple listings and so it has um, down here for rescue dog it's picked up four variations and everything is working out very well um, they're running a sale right now so usually some of these are $25 but they're all 20 right now um, and so everything here is working and we will just you would just fill this file into Facebook catalog and then you can adjust from there so everything's good I'm back on my page looking at the shop it's got a price uh, we should be able to make orders so I'm gonna click on one of these and it should be set up to do orders um, why it's being so slow at the moment I'm not sure but you can go to checkout and it uh, is showing my address when I click the checkout button so I'm going to uh, not click on it but everything here checks out so if you need any additional help let me know in the comments but it should be properly set up now um, and I will see you in the next video I don't know what that video is going to be but I will see you then goodbye